Hey everybody, it's Joe here from the podcast. Um, I wanted to give you guys a little tutorial today on Fidelity Active Trader Pro. So I'm guessing a lot of you, a lot of you viewers, subscribers, listeners, um, have Fidelity as as your as your brokerage, and if you do, um, you have access to a very advanced charting software. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to walk you through first just how to install it and then how to get some uh, really simple indicators up and running on your default charts. So basically here I am on one of my uh, one of my watch lists. So if you go into the accounts and trade drop down, you'll see here uh, Active Trader Pro. Click on that, get Active Trader Pro. Uh, you can download for PC or for Mac. I don't recommend download it, downloading it on a Mac. I have a Mac and I could never get it to work for one reason or another. It was just very finicky. It seems to work a lot better on PC. So there you go. Once you download, you'll end up at a screen that looks somewhat like this. Here we are. So I have one of my one of my watch lists up here. Here I'll get a I'll get a bigger one up. Uh, so here we go. This is one of my one of my watch lists in Active Trader Pro. And so you'll you'll see there's a there's a lot more um, kind of functions and features here. Also, I really like the the dark mode. It's just easier on the eyes. So I'm gonna open up one of these charts. So I'll just open up AMD because it's the first one here. So we're going to move this into full screen. And then you'll see I have three different lines set up here. So these are the same moving averages that Todd has in his MarketSmith charts. So the green one is the 200-day moving average. The blue one is the 50-day. And the red one is the 21-day. So basically, in order to get these, what you're what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down here to the bottom left, and you're going to want to make sure that this frequency is on daily. So then, when you do that, and then you can also then have the the chart length, if you will, or the chart zoom, whatever you want, it doesn't matter. So basically, you would go into um, indicators. And then over here on the right, right here where my mouse is, is simple moving average. And so when you select that, you're gonna get, so now this purple line is the new simple moving average that I just added. And so when you go to modify that, you can change the, the color and the, the style and all of that. Um, I recommend you keep the source on close for all three so that you're consistent. And then basically, if you have the if you have the freak the chart frequency on daily, if you just put in 21 and hit apply, there you go. You've got yourself a 21 day moving average. And so you do the exact same thing for the 50 and the 200. So really simple. Just go into here. You can modify these two at any time. So here I have this set to 50 and this one set to 200, just like that. Pretty simple. Um, and then you'll be able to, when, when Todd is talking about these, these chart setups and, uh, and a stock touching the 21 day moving average, you can actually open that up in Active Trader Pro and take a look at what he's talking about without having to pay for a subscription like MarketSmith, which can be very expensive. So I hope this was helpful to you all. And yeah, please, if you if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more of this in the future. Thanks for watching, everybody.